Hello everyone, I am your Produce Guy. Now, regular viewers of the Your Produce Guy videos here on YouTube have no doubt seen my chicken taco recipe. In that video, I made tacos using a seasoned chicken meat, but I didn't tell anybody what the seasoning combination was for it. Many on YouTube have asked, and so today I'm going to give you that spice mixture. But instead of our animal protein of chicken or beef or whatever you like in your tacos normally, we're going to substitute with our friend Mr. Cauliflower. He's going to be the star of our tacos today using that same spice mixture. And because cauliflower is our main ingredient here, I like to call these tacos Mexicali tacos. Let's get cooking. 10 inch cast iron pan on the stove heating up. We'll get some oil in the pan here, maybe a tablespoon or so, a little over a tablespoon I would say. One medium onion minced up first into the pan. There we go, hear that sizzle. We're going to cook this onion for a couple of minutes before we add the cauliflower. We want to give this a little head start. My onions have been in about three minutes and now it's time for the cauliflower. Now you can see I've done this cauliflower up here into tiny little florets. We don't want to go ground beef on you or anything, but I uh, want to have some, some structure, some texture still left. So now these are going to go in. Three or four minutes, we'll be ready for the next step. Now it's time for our spice mixture. In here I've got three cloves of garlic, which I've grated. A teaspoon each of salt, cumin, and coriander. Two tablespoons of chili powder a half a teaspoon of oregano, and one-eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. In go the spices now. These are only going to cook for about 30 seconds before we put in the next set of ingredients. Our next ingredient is a combination of one cup of tomato sauce, one cup of broth, in this case vegetable broth, and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. There we go. That will simmer for approximately the next 10 minutes and this is ready to eat. Alright, we've got our mixture all done up here. It took a little longer to cook down. We're going to lay it right on some fresh corn tortillas that have been heated on the griddle with a tiny bit of oil. Our onions on top. A little bit of cilantro, freshly chopped and a squeeze of lime and that is ready to serve there it is the perfect food according to your produce guy is a wonderful taco now this mixture the your produce guy taco spice mixture works with beef chicken or any other protein but in this case it works great with our cauliflower here in our mexicali tacos thanks so much for being with us we will see you next time on Your Produce Guy, where we always say, fresh is best. See you then. Mm. Finish cooking these and flipping these over. They'll just be warmed through. The oil helps to uh, soften them along with the heat, and so that they're pliable as we go to use them to form our tacos. All right, now that I've got my tortillas heated, and they're ready to go, and we'll fill them up here, you see I have two layers of tortillas. That's traditionally how they serve them on the carts.